mistakes there it's not a clean plane but just to give you an idea of these strings these are Aquila sugar strings they are made out of sugar but they are not edible just in case I don't know the percentage of sugar that comes into it but I'm very intrigued and surprised by it also, you, you have noticed the red bases, uh, which initially mm, I wasn't very sure about the color, but it's kind of growing on me now, so not too bad. Uh, they sound great. I mean, uh, I think the strings are lovely. They are loud, louder than a normal set of strings or at least the ones that I have tried before. I have tried, obviously, the Dario, Savares, Hanabach, uh, Tomastic, Infield, but I never tried this brand before. And I'm not being paid by the company either. I mean, this is a, just a, an honest uh, review. I think it sounds loud, very clear, bright, is brighter than... Uh, <laughs> other strings but in this particular guitar since it has a very sweet sound it's not a problem to have a brighter string Maybe on another guitar it, it can be a problem, but but I found to be really good sounding. But they claim that this is the squeakless version, and is not quite squeakless yet. I mean, you can I don't know if you can hear, but. Especially, ah, oh, there you go. So if you compare with, let's say, this one, this uh, well, this is my beater Yamaha guitar, and has some uh, uh, the Dario in it. So if you do the same thing, it's less noisy than this one. Again, just to compare. I don't know how uh, how well the microphone is capturing this, but also in here sometimes. So you have to be kind of a careful with your technique, not to kind of a because it's less forgiving because of that squeak noise. So you basically you have to plug and not kind of a wandering around sliding your finger on on the string. So it just. this kind of a the other thing I read on comments online about uh, these strings taking longer to settle than traditional strings but I watched the video by Mimo the um, developer of these strings where he explained basic techniques of how to 
how to uh, put the strings in. I mean, you put it into the tuner and uh, stretch it straight away and pull it. So by the time you start winding, is already with a bit of tension. It's not fully slack. So and then you basically you pull the around the 12 fret the strings like that and it settled pretty quick I mean uh, I just have a few hours with these strings put on I mean I put them yesterday but I didn't manage to play more than an hour I put in the case and then I took it out and it was more or less in tune so uh, it's not terrible I mean it's not much different from any traditional string in that regards uh, the other thing I have read quite a lot is that they tend to uh, break, especially the treble strings. I hope it doesn't happen to me, because like I said, I'm very pleased with the sound. And you will hear other comparisons on two pieces that I have played comparing my previous set, which was a Hanabach HT815, I think it was, the high tension, and this one. So you can have, like, a listen to both and compare the sound. So, yeah, let me just try to do something on a traditional tuning.
Thank you.